How big is the case you guys are going to get for the uh, <sighs> We don't have a case now. Um, we might just stack them in a pile somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> What's been the change then? Uh, just focusing on it. I know the, the linebacker room uh, uh, especially, but the whole defense has just been making it such a, a point of emphasis in practice, and that's where everything starts. That's where um, the block destruction, being able to get an on and off blocks, uh, the, the communication, that's where it all starts is, is practice and um, just taking those habits into the game. Um, I'm glad we're seeing things uh, show up in the game. Yeah, that, that dude's been balling all year. Um, shout out to him for that. I never got to talk to the media about that, but I'm really happy for him for that. Um, but, like, I know this is, this is mutual between us two. If he makes a play, I felt like I made the play. I'm celebrating like I made the play, and it's vice versa. So to have that, that bond and that communication, it, it means a lot to me as, as a player and a lot to this team. I think the closer we are together, the, the more we can do. Your play this year has surprised a lot of people. Has it surprised you at all? Uh, no, I don't, I don't think so. I think um, through my time in New Orleans, um, of course, people say I was an on-ball uh, linebacker, but when I was in New Orleans, I was um, putting in the time, putting in just, just the same amount of work as the starters were um, just to prepare for a moment like this and my opportunity, and all I had to do was take advantage and um, just let it fly. What got you through the time is waiting for your opportunity? Uh, talking to my agent a lot, um, talking to my wife a lot, um, and just trusting the process. Uh, I've been through a lot in my life and, and, and transitions and situations like that. So it wasn't the first time, and I think those, those times earlier in my life really helped me throughout that, that, that process. Favorite opportunity this year, but what made, has made Philly the right fit for you to continue to blossom in this role? Yeah, I compare it a lot to the time I, I transferred high schools. Um, I, I was kind of uncomfortable in my old high school, kind of stood out and... Um, when I transferred, I felt like I could be myself and be me, and that's exactly how I feel with this team. Just they embraced me so much, the coaches, the, the players, um, the, the cafeteria staff, everyone just accepted me like a big family, and um, the people in the building made it really easy for me to transition here. You're obviously on a one-year deal. Have you thought about your future beyond this year? No, no. It's, it's one game at a time. Like, I'm just trying to get better. Um, the linebacker room is trying to get better. This defense is trying to get better, and I'm glad it's showing up. I don't know. I don't know. It was loud in the stadium, um, and he's a loud dude, so it, 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 it probably just blended in there. But we're, it, the, I'm so happy we're all getting so excited for each other because we put so much work into this, and CJ, to get that interception, um, he, he's been waiting on one, and he keeps saying it's going to come, it's going to come, it's going to come, and he, and he didn't force it. He just made the play when it came to him, and I'm so happy for him too. To have a coach like Vic, who's been around so long, vouch for you and see something in you, how much did that mean? Yeah, it meant a lot. Um, he had full full uh, uh, trust in me and my abilities, and I think that really helped me with my transition as well. Just um, Everybody wants to be wanted, and everyone wants to um, for, for someone to have a vision for them and a plan, and he definitely had that, and it, it feels really good. From training camp to now, where, where do you feel like you've grown the most in your game as you I think throughout training camp, even from the start of OTAs, just getting the reps in, um, in, in a particular scheme. and um, I, I, I try to work on my, all my game. I'm not trying to be a, a run stopper. I'm not trying to be just a, a pass linebacker, a third down backer. Um, I'm trying to be a complete linebacker, and I'm just grinding at, at every little thing and taking, putting the time in, and um, I'm trying to be a complete linebacker. What's been the most fun part of this year for you, sir? The guys in the locker room, for sure. Um, the big guys up front are doing, doing a great job. Um, and the communication is just so good from, from the D-line to all the way to the back end and the safeties. Um, Jalen Carter playing off him, playing behind J, uh, uh, JD. It's a, it's a blast. Those dudes eat up blocks like, like no other. And it allows us linebackers to make plays. And then the, the back end, um, we're just sitting under routes for them. And they're playing up top. And it's just complete trust all along, all along the line. So um, it's a really fun defense to play in. And, and we have some really good guys to make this, this defense really good. Thank you, Josh.